Hi guys, welcome back to the Devour Wild Fam. It is Tuesday, I'm in my pajamas, it's almost 9 o'clock, I don't have any makeup on, but I have some coffee. So today is just going to be random chatting. I look so close because of course I can't find my selfie stick, I never can find it. It really does help because it's got like a little tripod on it. I really haven't been feeling well the last couple of days. Um, I need to go back to the doctor. I know I said all my tests came back um, normal. So I don't know if they want me to come back in and run more tests or I don't know. But now I have major loss of appetite. So, like, I'm not wanting to eat. I don't know. So, it's not been, not been feeling really well. So, my house <laughs> and my kids, unfortunately, everything's, my husband, everything's been neglected. My husband's actually cooked dinner the last two nights in a row and cleaned up the kitchen because I've just been laying down. Um, but I woke up today and I feel, feeling a little bit better. So... I'm gonna drink this coffee and get dressed and tackle my kitchen and my living room really needs to be vacuumed and I really need to do a good sweep and mop. Um, and of course the kids had friends over last night and I don't know what the heck <laughs> they were eating but there was like some funky looking nasty dishes in my sink. So I'll just kind of do a quick walk around. My counters are all nice and sticky. Table needs to be wiped down. Kitty litter box needs to go outside. I just, I mean, it's not terrible, but I just need to vacuum and like dust. Let's go look at the bathrooms. I'm sure that's not pretty. Oh, it's not, it's not too bad, but I'll come in here and wipe it. My room's not bad. Just need to make my bed. I mean, nothing's bad. Nothing's bad, but I just feel like, because I've been kind of laying down for the last two days, that I need to gather up my energy and do a quick clean. So I'm gonna get dressed and then I'll be back because I wanna talk to you guys. Well, it is 10 o'clock and I'm dressed. But I still haven't done anything. I made um, the kids a smoothie, so my kitchen's even more messier than it was. <sighs> I just have no energy. And it's been cooler out. <sighs> so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna film myself cleaning. Maybe I'll do a vlog of that this week though. Um, I'm gonna put some music on and get the stuff clean and then I think I want I'm gonna make the chamomile tea today so I will be putting that on here as well and I still want to talk to you guys so this is so weird because it's not like you know that I'm gonna stop this video and then come back on I don't know what I'm saying I'll be back okay so found my selfie stick my house well most of it's clean I did not go in the basement because older kids live down there and I'm sure it's a disaster. But got my bathrooms cleaned up here, got the kitchen clean, the living room clean. I dusted, swept, mopped, vacuumed. So I feel better about that. So I, I need to make a doctor's appointment for health issues and also I'm going to call the dermatologist. He said I might have to go back in for another treatment. For my face it, it's really weird because they were going away like this one like it hit all but disappeared but now oh, my mascara is under my eye now they're starting to come back my husband says it's in my head and that they're still light but I'm just gonna call 
and see if I can get in and see what they say, see if it's this is normal for them to like go away and then resurface and then go away again or if I do actually need another treatment, which I, I want it because I feel like even though it looks like they're coming back, my face is more like an, like, um, an even tone. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, like without makeup on, I don't feel like I look bad. I'm just worried about that three days after I got it done. It hurt, like, I didn't, it didn't feel good. <laughs> my face hurt. Even sitting, like, by the window on the couch, like, if the sun hit my face, it hurt. I'm gonna call and see what they say. And really nothing's been going on except, like I said, I've not been feeling well. Um, the kids have been okay. I mean, of course, I've had a couple issues with my teenage daughter, but you know, just normal, normal 15 year old girl stuff. Kennedy actually, hold on. Okay, you guys. So I actually have an appointment at 3.30 today to meet with, we have a, you guys. We have a caseworker now for Kennedy. And so me and my husband are gonna meet with her. Her name is Paige. Wesley, it's your turn. We're gonna meet with her and I'm gonna take all of my paperwork in there and Kennedy's diagnosis and her IEP from school and she's going to sit down and make a plan with us, tell us what services we need to sign up for, how to do the paperwork, exactly what we need. And that's gonna be cool because that's all the stuff that I've been putting off because I just didn't know what to do. Hold on. So we also signed her up for this place called Journeys. Um, so they're also making a plan and it's gonna be, well, I don't know if school's opening up. They're saying they're opening up and now they're like, oh, it's two days a week and the rest is remote learning. I don't know, maybe it is just stress because just the thought of doing remote learning again gives me so much anxiety. I don't know, any other moms feeling like that? I, especially with Kennedy, I, <laughs> it sucked. So, anyway, <laughs> this place called Journeys is gonna do plans. So depending on if she does go to school, they'll pick her up after school and she'll go every afternoon for a couple hours. And they'll work on stuff like taking her to the library or to the park. They'll work on like the potty training, just, just different life skills eating with her fork and spoon things like that if she doesn't go to school um she'll probably get more time at journeys so at least she'll be doing something plus occupational therapy and speech therapy which is really good um going back to the school situation though that's what i wanted to talk about too my kids are like they're all wanting like new school supplies and backpacks and school clothes um and we usually do second hand or hit like the clearance stuff at kohl's or walmart or i'll use the kohl's the kohl's card for that like to get brand new shoes what okay just a minute okay um but i'm like I'm not, okay, first of all, I'm not buying school supplies. I'm Maybe I'll get them each a notebook because we have pencils and markers and scissors. We have all that crap. I don't want to do it because I don't know. If they're not going to be at school, please stop playing with that. It doesn't work. So I don't want to buy school supplies if they're just going to be doing stuff on the computer. It would just be a waste of money. If they go end up going to school, then that's a different story. And then with school clothes, I think I'm just going to get them one outfit and a pair of shoes. Because, again, if we're just going to be sitting here, usually, usually I get them two outfits. So it's not like it's a big loss. So I'm in an alley and uh, Tiffany just had birthdays. They just got several new outfits from, with the money they got from family. And... I just bought Parker some pants because all his pants had holes in them. But yeah, I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Like the backpacks, I know the only one that needs a backpack is Allie. Every time I try to vlog, my phone rings. She even agreed that she doesn't need like a $30 backpack. A, because again, if they're not in school, she's not going to need it. And even if they go two days a week, like a $15 backpack from Walmart would work out fine because the high school and junior high, they have lockers. So. All right, 
I, my husband's gonna be home in a minute, so I I need to take the chicken out. I haven't taken anything out for dinner. Oh, I'm running behind. Um, and then I'm gonna go cut the chamomile and try to make the tea, and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so here's my chamomile. So I'm gonna cut this. Why is it so blurry? And we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna show you guys real quick our wildflowers. I love them so much. And it's these. Wildflowers are my favorite. I'm gonna buy more seeds next year. So here's a little garden update. And I really, I have stuff seeding because I just, like I said, I've just not been feeling well. I haven't been out here and my husband's been watering, but our sunflowers are almost ready to bloom. They've gotten super big. We've got some tomatoes almost ready, but like this, I'm gonna come out and pick all this. This is the collard greens. I think we have some peppers and green beans, zucchini and some mini cucumbers ready. Here's some more of my wildflowers that I put in pots. I'm probably gonna pick those and put them in the windowsill because they're almost done. Look, a cucumber. It's like perfect. All right, I'm gonna go pick the chamomile and I really hope, what is in the pool? I really hope that it, it turns out, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to try it. Okay, so I put, there's some spearmint in there too. I don't know if I'm doing this right, you guys. So I got my water boiling. I mean, if anything, even if I don't do it right, it's not like it's gonna hurt me. It just might not taste so great. Okay, so I put my hot water in it. I'm gonna let it steep. So it's all in there. I don't think I had enough chamomile the plant didn't really produce that much. I'm still, Kennedy, I'm still mad about the last chamomile I wasted. But, you know, we'll see how it tastes. I'm gonna let this steep for like five minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. I'm gonna put some honey in it. I don't think it's gonna get more colored than that, so. I have some spearmint in here and some chamomile. And I have an infuser, so that's what that looks like. So this will actually steep some more, so if it's good, then I can have two cups. But, okay, I put some honey in it, so I'm gonna taste it. Okay, time to taste it. It's hot. good it's weak like I said I don't think I had enough chamomile but it is it is good you want to taste the homemade chamomile tea no all right guys chicken tendies we'll see you guys next time bye oh I always do this some like chicken tendies end of the vlog but we got our first mail in the peel box that we have got some postcards from one of our followers on here followers on here and her name's Chris so thank you Chris kids loved it they've already written you back and I'll be mailing that out if you guys want to drop us a note I'll link our peel box in the descriptive box below and we'd love to hear from you bye I'm back my husband failed to tell me that his mom told him that if I'm gonna make the chamomile tea that when you pick it you're supposed to put it on like parchment paper and bake it like at 200 degrees for what how, how long did you say just until it dries up and then steep it because that will make it more like the flavor come out <laughs> that would have been helpful to know before i made the tea but it still tastes good so i think i'm gonna get a few more um blossoms on that plant so I can try it one more time. Okay, now for real, I'm gonna go.